aren't necessarily just like a boy story, but like a story for all children, so children can know that they're not alone. He's definitely this disturbed kid in this haunted house, and he's a psychic. I knew a little bit about The Shining before coming here, but it's definitely a different experience. In terms of theater, it's very different to have it all in sort of one continuous like motion of a song, and there's just scenes and interludes. There's no specific song names and stuff. So it's definitely different, and the singing style is very, very different. Out of like staging and rehearsal, like during the music when we're doing it, everybody's just really goofy and they have a lot of fun. And it doesn't really seem scary when we're doing it. And everybody's really nice. For the Grady girl, like she's trapped because her father killed her, but like they're trapped and they want to like leave. I get to see like how to be more professional in something and like having to like make sure you're still like portraying the role, but putting your own twists on things. I've already done a show with Max and uh, we've become good friends and they're like really fun to work with. And it's kind of nice because you don't always have to work 24 seven, you kind of get a break and you can watch the process. So it's really cool. It's a great story. So I want people to sort of experience the visuals because I think that gets overlooked by the story uh, a lot more often. I really just, want them to be like mesmerized and just like really into the story and just like watch it and like not be thinking about anything else. Mm -hmm.